Hello guys, welcome to our tutorial series on Olympiad questions which we are practicing for math. Uh, today in this uh, uh, part uh, we are going to discuss the yesterday last question, the homework question that uh, we were given. So the question was uh, 8 packets of juice of 250 ml each are poured into a jug. How much juice is left in the jug if 800 of ml of juice has been consumed? So the, uh, the question was uh, very simple. All we have to do is uh, we have to calculate the total amount of juice which was poured into the jug and then we have to subtract the 800 ml from that total quantity of juice. And how do we get the total quantity of juice so total quantity of juice how do we get that so total quantity of juice is we have eight packets of juice which are of 250 ml each so we'll just simply multiply the eight into 250 so what we'll get is 2000 milliliters the important part is milliliters because this is given in milliliters so 2000 milliliter of juice we will get and out of these 2000 milliliters we have consumed 800 milliliter so we have to subtract the 2000 milliliters minus 800 we will get 1200 milliliters of juice and if we talk about this 1200 milliliter we can convert this into liters by dividing it by 1000 because we know that in 1 liter there is 1000 milliliters. So we will get 1.2 liters or we can simply write it as 1 liters and 200 milliliters. This is the way this question was supposed to do and the right option was option number D now let's take a look at today's questions today also we are going to solve five question and I will give you one question for your practice and your homework so today's first question is difference between the place values of 4 and 5 in the number given below is this is a number that is given to us and we want to calculate the difference between the place values of 4 and 5. If you uh, don't know what a place value is, I will make a, a detailed video uh, for that also. Uh, right now if I have to tell you the place value, we, have, we simply know the place value depends on the position of a particular digit in the number. Like for example, for let's take this number only. 409500. If we write it in uh, our uh, description form like ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and this is lakhs. So if we talk about like place value, we read the place value by uh, multiplying the face value uh, like 4 by the uh, position it is in the number for example for this uh, 4 uh, the place value would be 4 lakhs and for this 5 the place value would be 500 and the question is we have to find the difference between the place values of these things so it will be uh, very simple 399500 zero, zero. So this will be the answer for this question. Let's take a look at another question. And this is the second question. In this question, we are given a figure and we are given a figure and we have to find the length of CD in this. So this is the uh, length that we have to calculate and this figure is actually made up of three rectangles if you take a look at this let's 
name it L and M also if you are comfortable. So A B L H this is one rectangle. L M C D is another rectangle and M G F E is another rectangle. If you are aware of a rectangle, let me draw a rough rectangle for you. So this is a rectangle and if for, uh, for a rectangle like uh, if we name it P Q R and F we know that for rectangle opposite sides are equal. So the basic property of this is P Q will be equal to R S and this is the same property that we are going to apply here. How do we calculate C D? So C D will be equal to if I will say that we know the total length of H and G H G is equal to 17 centimeter. So all we have to do is from H G if we subtract this section we subtract this section like uh, since AB is given so HL this part will be equal to 5 centimeter and this MG part will be equal to 4 centimeter so out of this 17 we can subtract 17 minus 5 plus 4 if we subtract this part 17 we will get the LM part and this LM will be equal to CD okay since opposite sides are equal so we all we have to do is 17 minus 9 which will be 8 centimeter and this will be the length of this CD so CD will be equal to 8 centimeter so we have to remember this property and there are three rectangles in this uh, figure a b l h and e f g a g m sorry g m and l m c d so these three rectangles this is rectangle number one two and three for so this opposite side will be equal to this side and this opposite side will be equal to this so and total length of h g is also given so we all we have to do is do take the difference of this and we will get the answer let's take a look at another question uh, which is the flight from jaipur to chennai took off at 4 45 pm it landed in chennai at 9 15 pm how long was the flight so we have to calculate the total duration of the flight and uh, how do we calculate it uh, so First, I want to explain a bit about a fraction or uh, a little bit about fraction, not so much. So fraction is something when we uh, talk about uh, some part of the whole, like if a pizza has six slices. So if a pizza has six slices and we take out one slice from that pizza. So the uh, the total pizza, uh, so uh, the fraction of uh, uh, slices left in the pizza is five upon six, right? Because we have taken out the uh, one slice from that whole pizza. Similarly, if we take two slices of pizza, the remaining, uh, so we have taken two by six, uh, two by six part is consumed and four by six part is remaining in the pizza similarly uh, that was all about the fraction uh, so in one hour in one hour we have 60 minutes in one hour we have 60 minutes and we are considering uh, the starting time of flight was 4 hours and 45 minutes so for 45 we can uh, 45 minutes which is 45 minutes we can convert to hours and this will be equal to 3 by 4 so we can write this 445 like this 4 complete hours and 3 by 4 like 45 minutes okay so 45 minutes can be written as 3 by 4 hours now if we talk about 9 15 pm 15 15 minutes can be written as 1 by 4 
so this is 1 by 4 just 1 by 4 how we 15 times 4 is uh, 60 so 1 by 4 we will get and this 9 15 pm can be written as 9 whole 1 by 4 minutes 9 hours and 1 by 4 minutes now if we convert uh, this is a mixed fraction so mixed fraction can be converted to a normal fraction like this so it will be 19 by 4 4 times 4 plus 3 19 and similarly 9 times 4 36 1 37 by 4 so now we can easily take the difference between 2 and get the total duration so 37 by 4 minus 19 by 4 and this is nothing but 18 by 4 which is 4 hours and 1 by 2 so four and a half hours was the duration of the flight four and a half so if we want to write it in different way we can also write four hours and 30 minutes because half hour is nothing but the 30 minutes so four hours and 30 minutes was the total duration of the flight so let's take a look at uh, another question and in this question we can see that it is given that total number of children in a class is 40 total number of children in a class is 40 and out of these 40 children seven children were absent on a particular day it could be monday it could be tuesday any other day it's given as monday what fraction of total children were present on monday so we have total uh, number of uh, students as 40 out of these 40 students seven were absent so seven were absent question is asking about the fraction of students that were present so in order to calculate the uh, fraction that uh, fraction of students which were present we have to first calculate the present students on monday so the total number of students that were present on Monday were 40 minus 7 which is 33 and the if we represent this in terms of fraction we will write 33 by 40. So this will be the total number of uh, uh, students that were present the fraction of students uh, which were present on Monday. If the question was asking us about the uh, uh, absent students fraction, then the answer would be 7 by 40. This will be the this will be for the uh, absent student and this will be for the present students. Let's discuss the uh, final question for the day. And the question goes on like this. If one coffee and one burger cost rupees 326 and two coffee cost rupees 230 then we have to find the cost of two burgers so i uh, originally this question was like a uh, instead of one coffee there was a one cup of coffee and instead of one burger there was a picture of burger and in between there was a plus sign so uh, in uh, in olympiad and sometimes in word problems uh, these uh, questions in picture forms are also given so we have uh, originally the if we can convert them to this statement type then it's very easy to solve so how do we uh, solve this question is simply uh, as it is given that one cup of coffee and one burger Combinedly cost rupees 326 and two cups of coffee cost rupees 230. So from here we can uh, de deduce that one cup of coffee would be equal to 230 divided by 2 which will be 115 rupees that will be the cost of one cup of coffee now from this uh, now if we uh, check this one coffee and one burger cost to be 326 so one burger price can be calculated 
if we subtract from 326 115 which is one cup of coffee so one burger cost will be 211 so two burgers cost will be equal to 2 into 211 422 rupees so this is how we can get to the uh, answer of this question now this is a homework question i am going to read this question for you and you try to solve it on your own and i will discuss this uh, the solution for this question in tomorrow lecture so the question goes on like this sam thinks of two numbers difference and these are the conditions for that number he is thinking about two numbers uh, um, he is thinking about two numbers and the the numbers are like this way that difference between those numbers is 8 like if we consider two number like a and b are two numbers and it is given the difference between them right a minus b is 8 and product of the numbers is 128 a into b is 128 and third condition is also given both the numbers are even numbers so we have to find what we have to find actually what is the sum of the value of numbers and value of a smaller number so we have to calculate the sum of the values right we have to calculate the a plus b actually in reality we have to calculate the sum of the value of the numbers and whichever number is smaller if a is smaller than a value if b is smaller than b value and these are all the options which is given a b c and d so do post it in the comments also uh, will uh, and i will write a provide a detailed solution tomorrow thank you for watching this video do like share and subscribe to our channel if there is any doubt you can post it in the comments and i will try to answer them as soon as possible thank you